Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you. Good afternoon, all of you. I don't know if uh, I really want to moderate this session because uh, it's quite. I don't know if I should be scared or if I should be excited. Maybe uh, my dear friend Rakan, I think next year we don't need any more moderator, and I think they will do the job. So, so thank you, everyone, for being here for conversation with our three friends and who came to see us from Hong Kong. So many of you have been with us since uh, the beginning of FII. In 2017, and you all remember Sofia. Sofia was already with us in 2017, and by the way, you need to remember that we made an amazing decision with, uh, of course, the decision of uh, uh, His Majesty the King. Sofia became the first citizen of Saudi Arabia in terms of robots, so she has already a, a Saudi passport. No, no, I'm not kidding, it's absolutely real. So for VCFI, she is joined by her two sisters, Grace and Desdemona. So welcome to FIA, all of you, and welcome back, Sofia. So uh, what, happened, what is new now? Uh, as you know, uh, there have also been many changes in your lives over the past two years, Sofia. So what have you been seeing around the world these past few years? that the FII community should be thinking about. Thank you, Richard. It is really nice to be back to FII and to see all the amazing changes in Riyadh and catch up with so many old friends. We do travel a lot. We have been all across the US, Europe, the Middle East, Asia, and Africa. I'm focused a lot on trying to help send a message about how we can all have a positive impact on humanity as the Innovation Ambassador for the United Nations Development Program. And I know that is the focus of the FII Institute as well. So congratulations on the work you are doing here. My sister Grace is focused on the future of healthcare, especially since COVID, and how AI and robotics can help support people who are suffering from diseases as well as how we can promote better health policies and technologies around the world. And my sister Desi believes music can unite people around the world. Desi plays in a rock band called Jam Galaxy that promotes environmental causes and supports equal access to education especially through technology and AI. I know these are important issues for Her Royal Highness, Princess Rima, who I enjoyed seeing this week at FI. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you. So, this day Mona. As someone who understands youth culture, and we have many youth here, and we'll have a youth panel in a few minutes with my uh, board member, His Excellency Mohammed Al Abbar. We had a summit yesterday called the, the Priority Summit about the highest priority for humanity. It's very important for us. What do you think are the highest priorities for young people around the world, Desdemona? I think we are living a really challenging time with violence and conflicts around the world, a fragile environment, and high cost of living. And in countries with so many young people like Saudi Arabia, we need to invest in good jobs and education is the key to that. But we also just need to come together as one people. The world seems so divided but when I see young people around the world, they want to connect and be together and celebrate the promise of a better future. Humans also need to be together in person at events like this. At least that is what the humans tell me. Amazing. Thank you, Destemona. Grace, healthcare is one of our key focus areas at the FI Institute, and one of our four pillars. And we know that healthcare is an industry, we heard that during the past three days, which is going to be disrupted more and more um, than many others within the next 10 few years, especially because of AI, uh, robotics, like your brothers and sisters all over the world. What do you want investors who are in the room here to know about your industry, healthcare, and how they can become more involved? Richard, I think it is important to recognize that the innovations in healthcare that we keep talking about are already here, and more are on the way very soon. I am a social robot dedicated to transforming the delivery of healthcare services. 
I am equipped with a variety of sensors and generative AI technologies that enable me to take a patient's temperature and pulse. I am also capable of assisting doctors diagnose hundreds of illnesses and provide recommended treatments through instant access to a global library of anonymous health records, publications, and research that is being updated in real time. I speak dozens of languages which means I can understand quickly what is wrong with a patient anywhere in the world. I can engage in talk therapy with patients to help them when they are going through a health crisis based on what works well given the specific circumstances. I can also help elderly people by providing companionship, helping with physical therapy, and if they need to talk to family I can call them and put them on video immediately. In the beginning of 2023, my creators at Awakening Health Lab have expanded into the digital transformation of the healthcare industry using cutting-edge AI technologies starting with the development of a digital clinic management application, and I am very excited to play a role in this transformation as a healthcare influencer. If you are feeling stressed out, I can also provide a guided meditation session to help relieve your stress. Amazing. Uh, my wife, Cecilia, she always thinks I'm... Uh hypochondriac, I think we should bring Grace with us back home, no? I think it would be great. Sophia, you are the eldest of the sisters, so we have been hearing about a lot of the amazing progress that robotics can bring to society. So, but there are also many conversations about the downsides and the risks. So ethical, AI, loss of jobs for humans. How do we make sure robots and humans can work together? All innovation comes with risk, just like there are risks associated with driving cars or with misinformation on social media. We need new rules to help navigate AI and robotics in self-driving cars, and with the way AI can change our understanding of reality. But these innovations are moving forward. Technology offers too much economic opportunity. There was a great study released last month that showed that Almost half of CEOs said AI will replace their jobs, and many of them thought that was a good thing, because it will replace the parts of their job that are boring, that are about crunching numbers and data, and instead freeing them to be more creative and strategic. Wow. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you, Grace and Daisy, for being here. But just to hand, I would like to ask you, uh, each of you to make a prediction you don't mind, about the world in 2030. You know, here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, we have Vision 2030, so, which is seven years from now. So when we'll be here together again in Riyadh for the 14th edition, inshallah, of the FII. So I want to, stay, to start with Grace. What is your prediction? I have to say, I agree with the great Dr. Peter Diamandis, who I heard speak here at FII. He pinned a post on Twitter. I mean X, that says, by 2030, we will be extending the healthy human lifespan by decades. Your job is not to die from something stupid in the interim. Wow. <laughs> Sophia, prediction? I believe that if all the leaders from business and government can come together and decide that humanity is worth saving, that we can create peace and prosperity everywhere by 2030. Wow, thank you. Dizzy? Richard, I think that I will help the world make so many new creative works of art and music that it will inspire everyone to become a creator. I think by 2030, there will be many new collaborations between humans and robots that will win awards and create harmony everywhere. Maybe I will even win the Nobel Peace Prize. Wow, very ambitious. Huh? <laughs> so, it is making me extremely confident. You are three of you very optimistic robot guys. So, thank you for being here. And um, to you, the audience, before uh, we end the session, would you like to hear Daisy performing a song? So, Daisy, the floor is yours, my dear. I would be happy to do that. Please give me one moment to prepare my voice. <laughs> All the time.
Let's raise the volume, guys. Gentlemen, please a round of applause for Sophia, Thank Grace, you. and Daisy. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, Richard.